Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. This time let's actually solve a SQL question because SQL questions are actually getting more and more common in air views as well. And this is a very common SQL problem. Get the second highest salary or second highest value in general from a table. So we wanna write a query where we can get the second highest salary from in this case, an employee table. So we have a table this table has two columns, ID and salary, but we only care about salary, right? Now this is actually pretty simple if you think about it, right? All we really need to do is take this column of salaries, right? Put it in descending order, right? So th in this case, 300, 200, and 100, and then look at the second highest one, which is 200. And then we're done, right? Like that's all we really needed to do. And right below, they tell us that it should return 200 as the second highest salary, but there's an edge case. What if there is no second highest salary? In this case, there's only one salary. So what's the second highest? The first highest is 200, but there is nothing for number two. The second highest does not exist. So it's empty, right? but they specify that we don't want to return empty. We want to return null in the case that a second highest does not exist. So we got to remember this edge case. We want to return null. So let's look at one last edge case. What if in our salary table, we had one more 300 value? Then if you come back over here, and look at this, right? We'd have to add another 300, right? Because this is sorted in descending order. In this case, this is the first highest value and this is the second highest value, right? But they're both equal. So does that mean we return 300 for our second highest salary? Well, they don't really specify in this problem, which is kind of, I think, bad, but they want the second highest distinct salary. So even though we have two 300s, we, we don't actually care about the second one. So even if we had two 300s, we still want to return 200 as our second highest salary. We want the distinct second highest salary. We're not counting duplicates. So now with all of that being said, let's finally write the query. We only have one table in this case, so we're gonna go from the employee table. We want to order it by the salary, right? Now, how do we wanna order it? Do we wanna order it one, two, three? Or do we wanna order it three, two, one? Well, we want the second highest, so we're gonna do it in this order, three, two, one, which is also called descending order. Now, how many values do we actually need? We only need one value. We don't need the top two highest. We just need the second highest salary. So we're gonna do limit one. That tells us we only want one value from this table. And we're also gonna say offset one because in our example, let's say we have three, two, one. We're only getting one value but we don't want the highest value, we want the second highest value. So the offset is gonna be one, right? We're, we're going here and then shifting by one. That means offset one. And the limit tells us we only want one value, so we only want the two. We don't want two and one. Now, last but not least, we do have to specify that we want the salary, not the ID. So we're gonna select the salary and remember, we do want to eliminate duplicates, so we can say, select the distinct salary. So now we've structured our query pretty correctly, and but it's really easy to forget the null case, right? They told us if there is if there aren't enough salaries, then return null. So we gotta remember to do that. The most straightforward way is to wrap this in a function. So if null, so this tells us if the result of this subquery is null, then what do we want to return? Then we want to return null. So this if null is pretty much a function. The first value that we're putting in is the result of this. If it happens to be empty, right? 
the result of this is empty, meaning there isn't a second highest salary, then we want to return null. And the other thing that they also specified is when we get that second highest salary, we want it to be called the second highest salary. So we're just gonna rename this, select everything from here as second highest salary. So it's called the second highest salary. And I always like to prove that this solution does actually work. So I'll show you that. And so it works. And I also wanna say that there are probably a thousand different ways you can get this query to run. Some are obviously gonna be faster, more efficient. Some are gonna be slower. Some are gonna be really short lines of code. And if you're pretty new to SQL, I hope this at least gave you like a general idea that it's not that different from coding. It's also not that different from like data analytics. So if you've never coded, learning SQL is not impossible. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you pretty soon.